Right, hi guys, Julia from Adventure Geek. Today I'm doing a risk assessment of a walk that I'm leading for Adventure Geek in a few weeks' time. We're starting here uh, at the Dove uh, pub. Um, hopefully it'll be open by the time we actually walk this, which is actually in a few weeks' time, so I know they've got a garden on the outside. Thank you to Alison Keeley um, for walking this and rooting it. You can download it if you enjoy if you enjoy the walk and you like the look of it, you can go onto the Adventure Geek website. I'll put a link in the description to that below. So if you are in the Milton Keynes area, then this is one for you. It's about five and a half-ish miles. Um, and we've got lots to see on this walk. So apparently there's a really lovely church to see. We've got some ruins. We've got the canal. We've got a, a fantastic Tomwell Lake uh, to see. So yeah, let's see. Uh, how well, we get on today. I'm also going to do a very quick Americanisms uh, just to break up the walk. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Right, are we ready? Let's hike. This walk takes us uh, along the railway walk, so we're going this way, right along the railway track. Okie dokie, so <laughs> one of the things that I was going to mention is there's a lot of um, a lot of the backpacking YouTube channels out there are American backpacking channels. Um, and they use a lot of American slang, which us Brits really just don't get. So I thought I would share with the Americans that are watching this program some of the language that you use that we interpret as completely different things. So the first thing is you use the word backcountry and we don't say backcountry over here. We say it's the countryside. So uh, that's the first thing. So backcountry took a little while to get my head around, but I understand and appreciate that you mean the countryside. So that's item number one. I don't know if you can see, we've got the Tongwell Lake just to the uh, right of me. We're actually going to be doing a loop around this lake. Um, if you do come and walk this on a Saturday morning, I think they must do park run. I've just seen a, a batch of runners going through and they've all got park run t-shirts on. Hiya. Hi. How beautiful is this? Stunning. Okay, so another new terminology that I'd never really heard of, and it makes complete sense, and I'll probably use it in the future, is car camping. So car camping to me is sleeping in your car, but you guys think of it as you know, going to a regular campsite where you've got all the amenities and you've got all your heavy stuff. So for you guys, that's car camping. For us, it's just camping. Um, so if you go on, on a, a camping holiday, I suppose you're car camping, we just call it camping. So the difference is really we say wild camping, which is what you guys say as well, or backpacking, which is what you guys say. And we didn't use the word tenting either, that's something else that uh, I've picked up on. Look at where we are, it's gorgeous. Okay, item number four is actually a widow maker. A widow maker to us is just a dead tree. I don't think we call them widow makers over here, but if any Brits are watching this and you call them widow makers, let me know. Cracking name, by the way, I will continue to use that. Oh God. Okay, geese. Geese can be quite horrible, can't they? I didn't know they were there. <laughs> Right, so item 
number five, I think it is. I hate doing these things because I lose, I lose count. But item number five is a fanny pack. We don't call them that over here. I'll tell you the reasons why is because a fanny is a rude word. Well, not necessarily a rude word, but it's the name that we call lady parts. We call it a fanny. So, yeah, fanny pack is, uh, is a bit uncomfortable for us Brits. You know what we call them? We call them bum bags, and I think that's even worse. So, uh, yeah, brand new one that I got from Atom Packs, which is this one down here. It's a one and a half litre. They call it a Roo Pack. Oh, I think that's great. I think we should get rid of the name Fanny Pack and get rid of the name Bum Bag, and they should all be called Roo Bags. What do you think? Or Roo Packs, like that. Yeah, let's stick with that. So the last one then, number six, is a funny one. It's the word knob. So in US, you guys call that as like a, we call it a peak of a hill, and you guys call it a knob. A knob in the UK is something very, very different. It's part of a male anatomy. Let's just leave it at that. And it's also, it means you're an idiot and stuff like that as well. So when I see all these really videos and you've gone past such and such knob and some such knob, uh, for us Brits, that's, that's quite funny. Anyway, I thought I would leave it at that. I hope you like these Americanisms um, and my observations. But anyway, uh, I'm uh, just over halfway, way over halfway now, and uh, got a trip along the canal now. So let's finish the rest of this walk. the tail end of the walk. I've got my walking buddy with me. <laughs> they go quite fast, don't they? Oh, he's off. Faster than me. Go for it, buddy. <laughs> wow, what a lovely walk that was. So thank you, Alison. Spot on walk. As I say, if you wanted to walk this, you can download it from the website. Um, but, you know, I just enjoy going out. Sometimes it's nice to just go out on your own, isn't it? I uh, just got back, it was about 5.5 miles. Um, you know what it's like when you've paused something and then you forgot to resume afterwards. Um, and this week, All Trails, which is the app that I use for navigation, has done an update. So yeah, there's some new quirky things in All Trails. So if you haven't done the latest update, then check it out. Uh, the weirdest thing is that the big record button is no longer red, it's now green and it says start and the pausing and holding is a bit weird. So, uh, yeah, I think I had a, a few gaps in there where I hadn't resumed. Anyway, it was about five and a half-ish miles, spot on walk. I'm looking forward to leading this one in a few weeks' time. Anyway, that's me signing out for another week. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to get outside, get inspired, go take a hope when you can, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Ta-da! <music>